Hello beautiful mothers, welcome to another interesting episode of Healthy Meals where I'll be sharing with you my personal seafood okra recipe and eba. In front of me right here in the studio, I have a variety of ingredients that are going to go into my seafood okra. This particular dish is extremely healthy, packed with different nutrients you and your family would love. I'm the Red Black Woman, we're going to go on a break, we'll be right back. This is still Healthy Meals where I'll be sharing with you my personal recipe on seafood okra and eba. Welcome back healthy mothers, it's still healthy meals. Now that we're back, we're going to go straight into cooking and a lot of you are wondering why I'm wearing gloves. These are disposable cooking gloves because I like to be extra careful because I'm dealing with food okay so it's not compulsory you use it but i preferably would use these disposable cooking gloves so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on our stove and i'm going to put my stove on low to medium heat great and then i'm going to add Put my pot right there and I'm going to add some water okay into my pot but let's go on a break when we come back I would have added my water and I would have prepared the next set of ingredients that would come with this all right so we're back and I've added my water into my pot now the next set of things I'm going to put are, I'm going to add my stockfish. Let me tell you a little bit about stockfish. This is really high in protein. This is found in a lot of our Nigerian dishes. It smells really nice, but some people say, oh, it smells bad. But I personally like the smell. According to research, the Norwegian stockfish is actually really good and it's one of the healthiest. This is really good and high in omega-3 fatty acid. Now, let me tell you why we're doing seafood okra real quick, because it is packed with protein, seafood okra, packed with healthy protein. And we're all about health, basically on healthy meals. It's packed with a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, packed with vitamin B12, packed with um, very good, um, cholesterol you know levels that's healthy for you now why did I add stockfish because stockfish is hard in nature so it's good to put it in to boil okay I would also be adding my pomo so I have my pomo diced up in like tiny bits you know bite sizes I like chewy soup I like like when you take soup you know you can chew on different things and I'm adding my pomo also because it's it's a bit hard by the time the soup is done it will be just at a perfect texture I will also be adding my dried prawns now dried prawns dried shrimps are extremely good very nutritious very high in like protein omega-3 fatty acids like i said a lot of these are high and rich in omega-3 fatty acids very tasty i love the smell gives the food its own um taste at the same time its own unique taste and i'm adding it in because it's also a bit hard i would put in my periwinkles right now did you know that Outside the fact that, you know, you know, this is protein, but outside the fact that, again, it's rich in um, fatty acids, periwinkles helps to bind in your body, helps to bind fluids, and it's also very good for inflammation. Nigerians, this part of the world, we use and we cook with a lot of periwinkles. You know, our local dish is cooked with a lot of periwinkles. Also, I wouldn't put in my panla fish just yet. This is also known as European hake 
fish. I wouldn't put it, put, it, put it in just yet. I will put it in when my stock fish, my dried prawns, my periwinkle, my pomo, you know, when it's cooked for about like five to 10 minutes, it wouldn't take too long to cook. When it's about five, 10 minutes in, five to seven minutes in, then I'll put in my panda, because panda isn't really hard, also known as European hake fish, very rich very rich in omega-3 fatty acid and it's reasonably affordable now this is my dry catfish my smoked catfish okay i'll speak more on it i will put this in the same time i'll be putting in my panda now here's the thing about my own recipe for seafood okra I also have my catfish here. We know that catfish, I will put it in when it's about five to seven, 10 minutes done because catfish is very, very soft. So it doesn't break and scatter all over. But when I cook my seafood okra, I put in blended onions. We know that blended onions is antibacterial. Blended onions is good for your guts and I love blended onions because I'm married to a man that doesn't like to see his onions. He likes everything blended, which actually works out pretty good. So make your meal according to, you know, what your family loves in terms of sight, smell and taste. As long as it's healthy, that's all that actually matters. Okay, so I have this bowl with me right here and in it, I've blended habanero peppers, which helps with cancer which helps with dieting very tasty i also have tomatoes in here you're wondering why i'm putting tomatoes and um, habanero peppers and onions here's why it gives it a richer taste every time people eat my okra it's like it tastes different what did you put now you know what i put so i almost have i almost allow we have a stew like base but i put it in there so that when you taste it it's it's richer it's really lovely you know to taste so i've put in the basics my basics i'm going to put in my crayfish also but not now okay let my ingredients cook but if there's one thing i'll do is I will put in my seasoning cubes now. Now I'm putting in my seasoning cubes at an early point and I wouldn't put my seasoning cubes anymore because I believe seasoning cubes and salt should be put in at the early stage. Okay, so that it can cook properly. I wouldn't use too much or put in too much seasoning cubes, no. I'm not gonna do that you know but the goal with cooking is not to taste your seasoning cubes the goal with cooking and seasoning is to enhance the taste yet at the same time being able to taste your greens your proteins and appreciate the natural taste of all these ingredients in so the moment you have and you understand that you know philosophy that cooking tip let me put it that way you realize that you don't put seasoning cubes or salt so that it can catch the taste this is my cameroon pepper it's dry i'm going to put in just a little bit because i already have blended habanero peppers in here and as time goes on while we cook i will taste if there's any more need for Cameroon pepper, dried Cameroon pepper, I will add. And then I will put in a bit of salt. Like I said, I would prefer my seasoning cube and salt to be put in the early stage. So it cooks very well. Along the line, I might put in just a little bit of salt. Of salt. That's if it is required, because remember when you dry stockfish, you have dried um, catfish, you have um, smoked panda fish, you have crayfish. Remember that it comes with its own salt. I'm going to take my spoon 
and stir this baby together it smells really good already don't worry I'm going to add my palm oil after five minutes I will add my palm oil so I'm going to cover this baby up and then in five minutes I'll add my palm oil and we'll move on from there all right I hope these first steps are very clear and you understand the health benefits. This is still Healthy Meals where I'll be sharing my personal seafood okra recipe with you and we're going to eat it like I said with Eba yellow gari to be precise. Welcome back guys welcome back mothers it's still healthy meals and we're still on seafood okra where we're gonna have with yellow gary also known as eba so five to seven minutes is up wow look at that i can see that my tomatoes my pepper my onions have boiled reasonably well okay including my stock fish I'm going to add in my palm oil, which is very good with vision and which is good with um, cardiovascular health. Now I'm going to add my palm oil for taste and for color. I'm going to put in my crayfish. Crayfish actually is a good supplement in terms of nutrients for hair, for liver, for skin. Imagine that, crayfish. Now, Nigerians, as Nigerians, we cook with, we cook um, our meals with a lot of crayfish, from beans to yam porridge to plantain porridge. Some even put crayfish in noodles. So that's really good because at the end of the day, like I said, it helps with, it helps, it has set certain nutrients that supplements and aids um, hair, good hair good liver good skin oh this smells so nice so I'm also going to put in my panla fish in Nigeria it's known to us as panla fish right but the name is called European hake fish which has high protein benefits omega-3 fats which is very good for your body everything looks rich i'm just going to stare and i'm also going to add my smoked catfish smoked catfish is really really nutritious catfish in itself has low calories very low calories so if you're looking to diet and you actually are looking for protein supplements that is really good for you you can go with catfish okay behind the camera I tasted my soup and yeah just a little bit of pepper is required so remember I, I said you must always taste don't just add everything and the beauty of pepper is not so you go when you're eating it okay you can feel the heat but at the same time it's edible okay so let's also bear that in mind that that's an important cooking tip all right now i'm going to cover this beautiful meal i'm going to cover it for about five to seven minutes thereabout one beautiful thing i love with our african nigerian soup is it cooks very fast it's actually very fast to cook and it's water-based remember the human body contains 70 percent of water so my oil the ratio of oil to water fantastic that's why a lot of nigerian soups are healthy because it's very water based i'll leave this to simmer that's why i said i like low to medium heat because i like for my food to simmer my palm oil is going to cook the uh panla and the smoked catfish is going to cook and i'll go straight into adding my catfish 
which is my main source of protein today. All right, so let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to add our catfish, our ugu, our green, and our okra. Welcome back, my beautiful mothers. It's still healthy meals where we're cooking seafood okra. Fantastic. So it is time. It is time to add last set of ingredients, which is, oh, this is really nice. So now I'm going to reduce the heat just a little bit, leaning more towards the low side. And I'm going to put in my catfish, catfish. Nice and chunky, it's the head. I'm gonna arrange it nicely inside. Now, catfish is very good. Catfish has very low calories, extremely low calories, but very high in omega-3 fats, literally catfish. So, like I said earlier on, if, you know, it's a good supplement you know, for a diet, like if you don't want to eat um, proteins that have high fat, have high cholesterol, catfish is it. So I personally like to arrange my catfish. I like to give room. This catfish wouldn't boil. It, it would boil for like 10 minutes. Remember, we don't want our, our catfish too soft, okay? At the same time, so that it doesn't break. And then I will put in my green and ugu. So right here, I have my okra grated and I have my okra diced. I also have here ugu and I also have here green. Yes, I always add ugu and green to my okra, not just the okra alone, but ugu and green so that my food is rich. All right, now I've covered the pot and when we come back, cause we're going on a break, we will put in our lovely greens that are placed and laid out on our table. It's still healthy meals and I'm still the Red Black Woman sharing with you these steps on how to cook seafood okra. Welcome back my beautiful mothers. Welcome back the Healthy Meals family. Yes. Okay. Woo, this looks good. We're basically done. Now I'm going to lower the heat just a little bit, a little bit. And I'm going to put in okra. Okra is actually very, very good for your, for in terms of diabetes, good for your heart, you know, it's very nutritious. It's good for your weight. If you want to watch your weight, okra is really good. So what I'm just doing is I'm stirring in a tactful way. I don't want, mm, I don't want my fish, my catfish to break. At the same time, I'm also trying to make sure that my okra is immersed in the soup contents. Now I'm putting my okra in batch by batch because at the end of the day you don't want okra that's too thick remember when you're cooking vegetables don't don't kill your vegetables and i was having a discussion behind the camera with my director and i was telling him about you know not bleaching palm oil if you notice i didn't bleach my palm oil i allowed it boil Bleaching palm oil is not necessarily good for your health. When you bleach palm oil and you put your palm oil on very high heat and bleach it, you've killed these nutrients that will aid your vision, that will help with your heart. All right, we'll be right back. Still healthy meals where we're cooking seafood okra. 
Welcome back beautiful healthy mothers. This is Still Healthy Meals and we're at the final stage of cooking our seafood okra. So we've had our okra in it and remember don't allow your vegetables cook for too long. Once you put in your vegetables in the next five minutes or seven minutes turn the fire off and allow the heat from the pot steam cook your vegetables. So right here in front of us hmm we have ugu so i'm gonna add ugu and i'm gonna tell you a thing or two about ugu now ugu is also known as pumpkin leaves did you know that ugu actually helps in fertility in men and women ugu is also known as the natural blood tonic because it helps with the formation of blood Ugu is very, very good when it comes to managing your cholesterol level and also your um, diabetes. Ugu is very nutritious also because it helps with the memory. If you have Alzheimer's, dementia, it actually helps with that. Now, this is called green. Green is also known as amaran. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that properly, right? So this is green also known as amaranth leaves green is extremely good it also helps balance your cholesterol level helps with your immune system green is very good for your bones because it's high in calcium it's high in iron green also helps with like weights you know very good you understand now why i would actually add ugu green and okra i'm just staring carefully if you notice i'm staring with the back of my spoon i'm not doing this because there's fish catfish in it so when you stare with the back of your spoon and you you move it gently you press down gently it ensures that your fish doesn't get scattered you press it down gently so what i'm going to do now we're at the last stage i'm just going to cover this for three minutes and to let it cook and then i'll keep my lid closed for another two to three minutes so that the steam from my pot cooks it's very nice when you can eat leafy green soups you know and you can still taste the crunch please don't cook your vegetables. If you notice that you cook your vegetables and your vegetables are black, you've ruined the entire purpose of like cooking a nutritious meal. Please don't do that. Your, your vegetables should still be green, leafy, crunchy. And remember, I can't overemphasize this. I can't wait to eat our soup. We'll be right back. It's still healthy meals where we're cooking healthy food. All right. Welcome back amazing healthy mothers this is still healthy meals where we're done cooking our seafood okra where the main protein is catfish this looks delicious this has from dried prawns to crayfish to periwinkles to um, smoked catfish panla also known as European hake fish it has ugu, also known as pumpkin leaves, green. It has so many beautiful ijekuje, like we say in this part of the world. So I'm pairing it with eba, yellow gari. Let me just have a taste of okra. That's all I can do. It actually tastes nice. Yes, I'm using cutlery to eat okra soup. Yes, I know. But let me tell you, let me let you know a secret. When I'm alone, I use my hands, yo. <laughs> I use my hands, but yeah, let me have a taste of this. It tastes lovely. The pepper is not also overpowering. I love it, and I hope that this process you would follow and please feel free to improvise you don't necessarily have to follow my steps step by step feel free to improvise let me know be part of the conversation our social media handles are showing on your screen right now okay 
I'm the Rare Black Woman, and this is another delicious episode of Healthy Meals, where we cooked seafood okra with catfish as a main source of protein and yellow gari. Until next time, remember, a healthy mother is a happy home.